Hey everyone, Roger here from Ask Car Experts YouTube channel and I'm putting the exhaust on before I do the timing in the front, putting on my new heat shield and gaskets that go up against the cylinder head and I realized that I, I actually overdid it on the studs. If you look at the pattern, and I should have realized this but I just was going so fast. If you look at the pattern, we got one, two, three, no hole, two on the bottom, none on top, and a third one here. This pattern is the same on both bank one and bank two. So what I did was removed some of the studs. I ha remember, if you're following my videos, I had actually put studs in all of the holes and that was just being overzealous because I forgot that you, not all of the holes are used. So you only need two, four, six, eight studs and you have to just install them in this pattern right here. I just had to take off a couple of the extra studs I put on and I'm gonna go ahead and feed the cats in from the bottom, and rust them in place, and then I'll be able to get them bolted up. One thing to keep in mind when you're reinstalling your cats is clean the surface area, which I use Scotch-Brite to clean this up. There is a bit of a gasket, so you're gonna be okay with a little bit of corrosion. Um, and then I blew them out with some air just because they've been sitting so long. Remember the best way to move a stud is the double nut method. Just tighten the outer to the inner and then you'll be able to take that stud out. Alright, now that I have all the studs configured right. There we go. I can put my heat shield which is also the manifold gaskets right here. To get these cats in, you can't do them from the top, and I got them out when I pulled the cylinder head off. On a Z3 at least, you have to loosen the reinforcement plate. I just got one bolt over there, so that's just gonna let that hang. And then it opens up under here. Well, it actually is too tight to get that front cat in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my pole jack, I'm gonna support my engine at the oil pan with a block of wood. And I'm going to take the motor mount bracket out and the engine should not move at all because I have it supported right here. So I need to take these 13s, these 4, and I'm going to take the 16 nut right here and get the motor mount bracket out of my way. That's going to give me a straight shot in. Alright, here's a quick tip. Bring this up, loosen these up. You should be able to turn them all by hand. If they're tight, you need to apply some more upward pressure on the engine because you don't want any tension on these bolts. They should all come out basically by hand because all of the weight should be on your support. See how this is all nice and floating. So when I put this back in, you won't cross thread anything. So I can get this motor mount bracket out nice and easy because I have all of them loose. This would also be a, the way to replace the motor mount. And when I put these in, I want to make sure to put them in by hand, and they should very gently screw in. Alright, there's my bracket. Just going to move that down. There's a ground attached to it. That should give me enough room, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Alright, that opens it up quite a bit. A longer size cat goes towards the front. Let's sneak that in. Now that I have my bracket out, the right angle, there we go, and now grab a stud here, not a stud, grab a nut, and let's see if I can get it in place. Alright, both cats are in place from under the car. I did take the control arm bolts off, pulled that down, gave me a little bit of extra space to sneak in the back cat. And I'm going to leave the brace off so I can feed everything up after. So it's time to go back to the top. Alright, now that I have the exhaust on, there's a couple of things I want to take care of. The motor mount nut is right down here. I left that loose because you can't get on it once the exhaust manifold is in place. So I'm going to do that from the top up here. Now I'm going to work on getting the exhaust manifold bolted on. 
I put some green tape over the holes where the pre cat 2 sensors go just in case I drop something. I don't want it to go inside the cat, but I think it'll be a little bit easier to get to the studs and to tighten everything with the O2 sensors out. Now it's not the easiest thing to get to these exhaust studs. You do need to get some swivels and you have to get a little creative. I actually have them all installed. Now I believe this was an M7 by one thread. The M7, the size, in general, it's about a 15 Newton meter torque spec. I would start maybe do 12 to 15 Newton meters if you want to torque it down. But realistically, for an exhaust manifold, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of snug them up even a little bit at a time, and then you'll be good to go. Now, I'm going over this because I actually lost a little bit of footage somehow because my GoPro was set to pictures and not video when I was finishing up and putting the exhaust on. Now, I'm still working on editing a lot of these videos, but actually, my M54 and my Z3, I'm done, I'm driving this, it's registered, I'm enjoying it. So stay tuned for all the videos where I wrap this up and get the engine up and running. Thanks for being part of my channel. Please remember to like and subscribe to Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel. I'll talk to you all soon.